Hello everyone, I am Mandar Kolatkar. I study in 8th grade and today I will be showing you how to properly set up and demonstrate the CANSAT. Your CANSAT should look like this. Uh, as you can see, all the sensors are attached and the wire is in, wiring is internal except two wires which are coming out of the of one of the sensor slots. It should have also been shipped with a solar panel and a battery. Let's first see how to install the solar panel on the satellite. There should be two holes, one on the top of the satellite and one on the bottom. We are, uh, so there isn't a specified top or bottom, but I am going to take this face to be the bottom of my satellite. And I'm going to attach the solar panel to the bottom. So our solar panel is threaded and we can just screw it into the hole. The first time the hole might be a little too small. So we'll have to put some more pressure. But we can just, as you can see, twist it into the hole. And as you can see, the solar panel is attached to our satellite. Then, in order to actually demonstrate our CANSAT and to power it up, you will need to uh, use the battery and we are going to connect the battery to the back of the solar panel here. In order to do this, we can use a piece of double tape and we can just put it onto the battery and we just pe peel off the covering and secure it we're gonna press it onto the solar panel and as you can see now the battery has been secured to the solar panel now let's see what setup is needed in order to actually run the satellite and get its data on our web page now let's install the network analyzer app which we can get from the play store the network analyzer app is needed to get the website link from which we can read the CANSAT data. We go to the play store, search network analyzer and I am just going to search this and the first link, uh, the first app you will see is the app that we want. Just click install. Let's just wait for this to get installed. And now that it is installed, we can just click open to open the app. Now that we have installed the network analyzer app, we are just going to power up the mini satellite before proceeding further. We are going to flip it on this back and there will be the battery wires and the two wires sticking out of the sensor slot. There will be the black wire which is the negative or ground wire. I will just bring it in front of the satellite so that you can see more clearly. Then the, wire, the battery wires, we, one of them will also be black. And you want to connect your black wire to the black battery wire first. And after that we are going to connect the red wire to the red battery wire. But before this, I am going to flip the node and satellite on its side so you can see the node and see being powered on. Did you see it? Now the node MCU is powered and it flashes its LED. Now we will go back to the network analyzer app and continue our setup from there. Now that the mini satellite has been powered on, we can complete our setup of the network analyzer app. First, we go into the Wi-Fi settings and make sure that our phone is connected to a Wi-Fi called Kolatkar. As all the CANSATs have been uploaded with a code to connect to a Wi-Fi called Kolatkar with a password 
कैपिटल एम ए के फाइव एट द रेट फाइव फोर सेवन 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 इफ यू डो नॉट हैव दिस वाई फाई यू विल हैव टू क्रिएट एन हॉटस्पॉट विद द नेम एंड पासवर्ड दैट आई जस्ट स्पेसिफाइड अगेन द नेम शुड बी कोलहटकर विद अ कैपिटल के एंड द पासवर्ड शुड बी एम ए के एट द रेट फाइव फोर सेवन 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 विद अ कैपिटल एम now that we have made sure that our phone is connected to the kolhatkar wifi <coughs> excuse me uh, we can go back to the network analyzer app and press the green scan button on the top right corner of our app i have pressed it and as you can see now it will detect all the devices connected to our particular network now we will have to look for an uh, ip that's what these numbers are called an ip with expressive written on the bottom as you can see the lowest i ip the one that is 192.168.1.12 has expressive written on the bottom so this is our ip that this uh, that we can connect to to get the mini satellite data This IP again is one ninety two one sixty eight one dot twelve, but it may be something else depending on your CAN set. So will you will have to install this network analyzer app to check the IP address of your particular CAN set. Now I go to Google, and you can open any other browser of your choice, and I am going to open the one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot twelve IP. as you can see i have already put it in the uh, search bar now i am just going to search it and uh, we are just going to wait for the website to load and as you can see this is loading once you have the ip address of your mini satellite you can use any device that can run a browser to see this data like a laptop so i have my satellite in hand here and i can just as we learned from our network analyzer app put our ip which was 192.168.1.12 i can search that here and as you can see now our uh, website has loaded in and now our values have settled down for a demo we can change the environmental conditions around the sensors and see the changes in the line graph values and the uh, humidity temperature etc values in real time like for example this blue sensor here which is the humidity and temperature sensor if we breathe on this sensor as our breath is moist we can increase the humidity reading of the sensor let's try this now i'm going to breathe on this sensor and we can observe some change in the humidity and temperature values and we can also observe the change in the line graph i i will start now as you can see the humidity has skyrocketed and it went from around 48 to now 80 the temperature has gone from 34 degrees to 35 degrees this is a subtle change so it's not as visible in the line graph but in the table charts we can still see it as we just change the temperature and humidity parameters in real time and saw the changes we can also do so with altitude but for this we will have to do a little setup first of all we are going to need a short m4 screw this is an 8 mm long m4 screw and as we screwed in the solar panel into the bottom hole of the satellite we need to screw in our m4 screw into the top hole of the satellite and i will use a screw driver and we are going to partially screw this in so we're going to leave some space here 
Now we will need some string. In my case, I am using this kite string. And also, we will need something higher in which we can hook the string into. What we are going to do is take the string and there I have a handle higher and into that I am going to hook my string. Now, we have hooked the string into the handle higher and we on the other end of the string, we can tie our mini satellite and we can tie, that's why we put the nut into the mini satellite, that way we screwed in the nut into the mini satellite so that we can tie the string onto it. So as you can see, I am just going to tie the string here on the this nut. And as you can see, I have tried my, tied my satellite can set to the nut. Excuse me, my string to the nut. And as you can see now, I can hang my, hang my can set. And now, using my kite string, I can raise or lower the altitude of the can set. Now let's test our altitude setup. I have the mini satellite connected to our altitude setup and here you can see I can control the height of the satellite and I have it wired, powered on back there. It may not be visible right now but when we increase the altitude of the satellite it will be visible. Now let's put in our satellite IP address 192. 2.168.1.12 enter and we are in the website our altitude is around 0 now so let us just start slowly pulling the satellite upward And as you can see, it has gained an altitude of about 1.2 meters or 1 meter, which is uh, approximately correct because I have also measured the height of the span that the mini satellite covered and it was about 1.1 meter. These were some of the different ways that we can demonstrate the cancer. You can also think of different a more different ways that we can demonstrate the real time change of these atmospheric parameters thank you